What's up guys, it's Bucky. Welcome to your 29th Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to put multiple parameters in a function. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to build functions with a set number of parameters. But there's going to come times, like when you're building a shopping cart or grocery list um, program, that you don't exactly know how many things the user is going to have. So you need a way to tell Python that I, I don't know exactly how many things or elements are going to have, but I need you to do a certain thing to them. So to do that, let's go ahead and make a function. Uh, let's call it list for grocery list. And inside, before I would show you just how to add a single thing like that. But if you want to add many things, an unknown amount of things, what you need to do is put an asterisk before it. And what this does, this asterisk does, is tell, all right, whatever you put in for this element, instead of just treating it as a single, single thing, treat it as a tuple. So let's go ahead and do something to uh, this list. And what we want to do is just print out food. This is a really simple function. So now if we have list and we add an element like apples, and call it as you can see it doesn't just print out apples it prints out apples as an element in the tuple so now using this asterisk we can add many elements to one parameter instead of just writing a whole bunch of different parameters so let's go ahead and put list and let's add I like to do that to get everything out of the way um, apples peaches and beef why not Hey, where'd my thing go? All right. Now, once we press enter, as you can see, we get a tuple of apples, peaches, and beef. And this is a way that you can put these parameters into a tuple. And also, it's useful with regular parameters too. So not only can you make a function to treat multiple parameters or an unknown amount, but you can also combine this with regular parameters too. Say you wanted to make a profile for someone that only has like one name or something, but you wanted to get like um, the ages of all the girls they dated. So let's go ahead and define profile. Move my cursor out of the way. And we want one regular parameter called name. And again, this has no asterisks in front of it, and I shouldn't have put those. So since that has no asterisks in front of it, we can only add one element to that. So after that, we want um, a variable element. So let's go ahead and put asterisks and put ages. And now this um, profile function is going to allow us to enter um, as many parameters as we want. It's going to treat the first one as name, and every one after that is going to treat as ages. So let me go ahead and print out. Let's go ahead and just print name and then print ages after that and now we got a profile function name and as many parameters after that so let's go ahead and call it profile Make sure I spelled it right our first parameter let's go ahead and put Bucky and then every parameter after that so this is what we did our first parameter is the name it's gonna print the name Every parameter after this is going to be treated as a tuple or multiple values. So let's go ahead and add some 42, 43, what are these? The girls I dated, 76, I dated a 98 year old woman before, and a 54, not really, but just for example. And let's go ahead and press enter, and let me show you guys what, this, what happens. The first thing it did is treated this as name. And this is because it could only take one parameter, so that's all it took. And next, it's uh, all right. You have multiple parameters right here. So I'm going to take the rest of these things and treat it as ages. So I'm going to print this out as ages. So that's a way where you can get a function. And instead of just having a known value or you know how much um, the user is going to enter, if you don't have something like this where you don't know how many girls they dated, all you have to do is press star and it says alright just treat the rest of them as a tuple and then you can perform functions on this and it's a lot easier than trying to deal with the unknown value so that my friends is uh, your quick tutorial on how to use many parameters in your functions and how to convert many of the values in your parameters into a tuple 
So uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. We will be using this later on. So uh, practice it. Get used to it. Um, again, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. And I will see you next time.